Okay, so we are going to learn about um, multisyllabic words now, and that is words that have more than one syllable. And a couple things I want you to keep in mind when we are learning to mark multisyllabic words is how are we going to divide those words up? And there's a couple things I want you to keep in mind. Is it a compound word? And that means is it two small words that are put together to make a new word? If so, then we just divide the syllables between those two little words. And if it's not a compound word, you're going to look between the two vowels that you find in the word. Okay, so we'll keep those things in mind. Let's go ahead and look at a multisyllabic word. This is a word that has two syllables. If you clap out slingshot, you will hear two claps in there. I'm going to go get a tool to mark this word. And I see that the word is slingshot. And this is a compound word because if you look, you can see two small words. There's the word sling and the word shot. So if it's a compound word, that makes it easy because then we scoop each small word. So we'll scoop sling and we'll scoop shot. And then we have to decide what kinds of other marks do we need. Well, sling is a closed syllable word because of that short vowel. And shot is also a closed syllable word. I'm sorry, a closed syllable because of that short vowel in there. Did you notice that there's a glued sound? Ing. And how about that digraph? There's also a blend. So now that we've looked over everything and seen everything that gets marked, this is the way it should look when you mark up the word slingshot. Now let's try the word goblin. How about if you write goblin on your whiteboard and I'll give you a chance to mark it with me. Goblin. Does that sound like a compound word? Are there two small words that are put together? I don't see two small words in here. So that means we're going to use our other strategy. and We're going to see the two vowels in the word goblin. Here's one right here. There's an O and there's an I. Now I want you to look between those two vowels and see what you find. There are two consonants. If those two consonants are not a digraph, then we just split up those two consonants. Then we just scoop to there and then between those two consonants is where we start our next scoop. So we have goblin. Once again, now we'll look at each of these two syllables and see what kinds of marks it is. What kind of a syllable is gob? Do you hear that short vowel sound? Yep, that's a closed syllable. Lin, that's also a short vowel sound. So it's also a closed syllable. Very good. All right, so how about we try another one? This is another multisyllabic word. It's two syllables. Publish. Do you see a compound word when you look at publish? Well, I've heard of the word pub, but not lish. I don't think that's a word. So this is not um, one of those words where we have to look at the vowels, see what's between. That's not a digraph, so I can split those two things up. So I'm going to have pub lish. What kind of a syllable is publish? Yep, it's a closed syllable because of that short vowel. And again, there's a short vowel, so I give it a breve. It's a closed syllable. Don't forget the digraph. Good job. 
Here's another multisyllabic word. This is again a two syllable word, blindfold. Why don't you go ahead and write blindfold on your whiteboards right now? I'll give you a moment to copy it down. B l i n d f o l d. Blindfold. Is blindfold a compound word? Is it two small words put together? It is. There's the word blind and the word fold. So when we have a compound word like that, it makes it easy to split it up into two syllables because we simply scoop one of the words and then we scoop the other little word. So this becomes our first syllable and then our second syllable, blindfold. Now look at these syllables closely. Are these closed syllables? Or do you notice that there's a long vowel sound? I and O, blindfold. Hopefully you notice that that means these are closed syllable exceptions because they have a long vowel sound even though there's one or more consonants after that vowel. Hopefully you see that IND is like find, IND, OLD, cold, old. Here's a blend. And that's how you mark blindfold. Okay, here's your chance. This word is nutmeg. It's a spice. Maybe you've used it before if you've ever helped anybody do some baking. Nutmeg. You decide, is that a compound word or not? Go ahead and write nutmeg on your whiteboard. See if you can mark it correctly. See if you know where to divide those two syllables. Go ahead and mark nutmeg. I'm going to go ahead and start marking, and you can check to see if you marked it the way that I did. There's a short vowel sound. Short vowel sound. These are closed syllables. Nutmeg. Now let's try marking the word dentist. Okay, go ahead and write dentist on your whiteboard. Dentist is a two-syllable word. It's multisyllabic. It's kind of a fancy word. D -e -n -t -i -s -t. Dentist. Does that look and sound like a compound word to you? I don't see two little words there. I don't I see the word den, but tist is not a word. Or dent is a word, but ist is not a word. So this is not a compound word. That means we're going to look again at the two vowels, this e and this i, and see what's between them. And that's not a digraph, so we can split them up. So that, meant, that means when we scoop, we're going to scoop den and tist. What kind of a syllable is den? It's closed. It has a short vowel sound, so we'll give it that breve. What about tist? That's also a closed syllable with a short vowel sound. Anything else that you see needs marked? 
How about a blend right here? Two consonants next to each other, that's a blend. Well, you did a good job marking multisyllabic words today. That's a lot of marking that you did. See if you can impress somebody at home with a using this word, multisyllabic words. That just means there's more than one yeah. syllable. All right, great job today. And uh, keep up the good work. We'll mark some more words next time. Bye.